The Dahani Lift Irrigation Scheme is a technologically sophisticated project to irrigate Vidarva, a large, semi-arid region of India. Background Vidarbha is a semi-arid region that has an ailing agricultural community which has huge amounts of debts. This has led to a high farm suicide rate. The Prime Minister has proposed a centrally funded package to irrigate nearly 7,000 hectares 27 square miles and therefore provide economic relief. Topic Details The project is being executed by Vidarva Irrigation Development Corporation and IVRCL Infrastructures and Projects Limited. The region to be irrigated is 6,968.01 hectares (26.9036 square miles) in Dahani, Babhulgaon Taluk, Yavatmal district, over the river Bembla at Kadasawanga. The project is expected to cost 1,988,300,000 Indian rupees, 1,938,000,000, and be completed in 2011. This project is the first of its kind in India and envisions the drip irrigation of a large area while making use of the latest in communication technology. The Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System will interconnect all components of the system via a satellite uplink, making it possible for the central command center of the irrigation scheme to be able to control all components remotely. Components <laughs> 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 Topic Bembla Reservoir. The Bembla Dam built over the river Bembla at Kadaksawanga is 7,650 meters (8,370 yards) long and 29.15 meters (95.6 feet) high, with a capacity of 322,068,000 cubic meters (421,249,000 cuyd). The Bembla project currently has a command area of 40,170 hectares, 155.1 square miles, and the completed project will have a command area of 52,543 hectares, 202.87 square miles. The total project cost is expected to be 12.8 billion Indian rupees. Topic Approach Channel A 1,700 meter (5,600 feet) approach channel carries water from the Bembla Reservoir into the forebase stage one. The channel is of trapezoidal cross section. Topic Forebase Stage One. The forebay is 40 meters, 130 feet long and has an average depth of 12 meters, 39 feet. This structure functions as a storage space for water before it is pumped farther ahead. Topic: <laughs> Pump house stage 1. This pump house is attached to the forebase stage 1 and has vertical turbine pumps with an installed capacity of 4800 horsepower, 3600 kilowatts. 
water is pumped from a reduced level of 265 meters (869 feet) to the main distribution chamber stage 1 up to an elevation of 304 meters (997 feet) via the rising main stage 1, which consists of one row of 1,700 millimeters (67 in) steel pipe and one row of 900 millimeters (35 in) steel pipe. Topic: <laughs> Main Distribution Chamber (MDC) Stage One. From MDC Stage 1, part of the water enters the forebay of Pumphouse Stage 2, which has an installed vertical turbine pump capacity of 1,640 hp The remainder of the water is supplied to 34 sub-distribution chambers via pre-stressed concrete pipes which form part of the gravity mains. topic sub distribution chamber sdc each sdc is a circular underground tank with a capacity of 150000 liters 40000 us gal the average depth of each sdc below the ground level is 5 to 6 meters 16 to 20 feet each will service an area of 100 hectares 250 acres. Each SDC, along with its associated instrument panel room and transformer, has been allocated a 20 by 20 meters 66 by 66 feet area. Each SDC has a 100 horsepower 75 kilowatts pump installed. A trained operator will be employed in each instrument panel room to make the relevant data entries regarding the type of crops on the sub-zones being serviced by that particular SDC. The program distributes the exact amount of water required in each sub-zone and cuts off the flow when the requirement has been fulfilled. The entire project has been divided into two stages, the first stage consists of 34 SDCs and the second stage consists of 23 SDCs. In all there will be 57 SDCs servicing the 57 zones that are subdivisions of the command area. Each zone is to be divided into 27 subzones. The SCADA system to be implemented is capable of delivering the exact amount of water required at each field according to the cropping pattern. It is proposed to train three representatives of the farming community from each zone, so that they will be able to operate the instrument panel of each SDC. For the initial three years of functioning, the IVRCL personnel will run the entire project, after which the responsibility of the day-to-day -day activities at the SDC will be handed over to the representatives of the farming community. Forebay Stage 2 Part of the water stored in the MDC Stage 1 is supplied into this forebay. From here 1,640 horsepower 1,220 kilowatts vertical turbine pumps installed in the pumphouse Stage 2 are used to pump the water farther ahead into the second stage of the project serviced by MDC Stage 2, which will supply 23 more SDCs.